I'm Cindy, the teen librarian at the Romeoville branch, and I just want to let you guys know that we have missed you so much at the library. It's been a hard year and a little bit more for everyone, but we're excited to get summer reading on the way. So I wanted to tell you about our summer reading program. So the first thing is, what are the dates? Well, our summer reading program goes from June 7th to July 31st, and our theme is Reading Colors Your World. And we're really excited to bring this program to you. And one great thing is we're going to be bringing back our paper log. So this year we're going to have a rainbow log. So for every hour you will read, you will just color in one shade of the rainbow. And it will be six hours total. So you have between June 7th to July 31st to be able to read six hours and get all the things you need for summer reading done. We're so excited to see you here. Please come back to the library. We miss you. Hi, I'm Miss Faith. I'm the teen librarian at the Crest Tap Oak Library of the White Oak Library District, and I'm here to talk to you about a new fun thing we're doing for summer reading this year. So this year we're integrating a new little thing called badges. Now badges are just like this. They're little pins, and the, you get to earn them, and you get to collect them all. So this year our theme is Reading Colors Your World. So each badge will be a different color that you get to collect and do, and it's super easy to do. You get your first badge by simply signing up for summer reading. It's all you have to do. And then you can also earn a badge for volunteering, you can earn a badge for attending a program, and you can earn a badge for doing a craft. And of course, we're a summer reading challenge, so you read, you earn badges. You, read bad, you get a badge if you read two hours, you get a badge if you read four hours, and you get a badge if you read six hours. And also, if you read 18 hours, that's completing three different logs, you can earn our super special and my favorite rainbow badge. So you collect them all. Each one will have a little animal character, be connected with a color and a different theme. And the designs are super secret right now and they're in the works, but they're super cute, super fun, and you'll want to collect them all. So sign up for summer reading this year and collect all the badges or just pick the ones you want. Collect your favorite color, doesn't matter. We're just happy to hand them out. So again, sign up summer reading and enjoy our new badge system. Let's talk about summer reading challenge prizes. So, if you love the rainbow, if you love colorful things, this is really your summer for summer reading challenge. Uh, so the prizes that you can get start out with prize books. I have some of ours here for Lockport. Let me tell you, we have a lot of prize books saved up so you can find lots of different things. When you bring in your first log for summer reading challenge of six hours of reading, then you'll get to grab one of these excellent prize books for your very own to keep forever. Um, and the grand prize for summer reading challenge will be when you log two hours of reading, you bring us your log and you will get raffle tickets that you can enter to win a few different things. So one of them is a prize basket full of colorful goodies and signed books for you to keep forever and enjoy. And the other thing you can win is a $50 gift card of your choice. So there are going to be two gift cards at each of the three library branches that's plenty of chances for you to win, so you should totally bring in your logs and grab some raffle tickets, enter them in the raffles, and see what you win. Alright, some of these books you may have heard of on Book Talk, and I think there are some that you'll really enjoy here in our Book Talk Book Talks. Let's start out with Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. In this book, Laszlo wants nothing more than to see the mythical lost city of Weep, and suddenly he finds someone who will take him there. This story is about how your dream can keep you afloat through many different experiences. The author has created a whole new world for you to immerse yourself in, which for me is one of my favorite things about reading, and I think you'll really enjoy it. The beautiful writing style will draw you in with the author's descriptions and attention to details of the characters. 
If you enjoy a fantasy story with really well fleshed out characters, this book is definitely for you. And there's also a sequel called Muse of Nightmares, so you should totally check that one out as well and start a new series. Next up, we have Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I would have to say this book has some all-time favorite science fiction tropes. We've got an ensemble cast of misfits, a spaceship crew where everyone has their own issues going on, and of course time travel in the form of cryogenic sleep and waking up in a confusing future. And you know what comes next. The crew no one thought would succeed will have to save everybody. Honestly, I think that tropes don't really have to be a bad thing. Sometimes you figure out the kind of stories you love to read, and tropes in our favorite genres are connections of our favorite elements of those stories. Aurora Rising definitely has strong vibes of The Breakfast Club and Guardians of the Galaxy. And if you love all of these parts of science fiction, and you're ready to read a space adventure that will leave you wanting to read even more, Aurora Rising is totally for you. And there's a sequel called Aurora Burning and more books to come, so start a new series. Next up, one of my personal favorites, Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Prodigies are people with superpowers. Some of them use their powers to cause chaos, and some use them to save average humans. But of course, the lines between right and wrong are very blurry in the world of superpowers. Renegades is a book told in alternating points of view by two characters on opposing sides. The only thing they're not keeping secret is their superpowers. There's tons of spying on either side and adopting layers of secret identities to infiltrate the enemies. If you've ever wondered whether heroes are always right and if villains have some good points after all, this book is definitely for you. And it's a trilogy. Arch Enemies and Supernova are the next two books. Now let's talk about Crier's War by Nina Varela. Get this, star-crossed lovers, who are both girls, who are star-crossed because one of them is an automaton. Like in Renegades, discovering you might be on the dark side is a big theme here. There's undercover sneakiness as well, and an enemies to lovers romance. This book is for you if you love to see a book ask what it means to be human. If you love the complications of robots who could take over the world, or become your friend or your enemy, and fall in love, definitely check this one out. And this one also has a sequel called Iron Heart. Finally, we're going to talk about Dark Shores by Danielle L. Jensen. Imagine the world as you know it is just the empire you live in, but suddenly you discover there's a whole other place that also has no knowledge of you. Yes, they are sailing to Dark Shores as the title implies. No, this is not a pirate book, but you can expect teleportation and political intrigue and epic battles. This book has yet another enemies to lovers romance, but hey, if you find what you like to read, there's no shame at all in reading a ton of it. And this one is also a continuing series. Love to bring you books that have sequels, ongoing series, so that you can really get into writing that you love. Thank you so much for taking a look at our Book Talk Book Talks. I hope you've enjoyed this. We'll definitely be bringing more book talks to you in the future, and you can always let us know what kind of stuff you like to read and what kind of programs you want to see from us. Thanks!